we're going to do is we're going to work on composition of two functions. So when, or not even just composition, but also composition, then also composition with evaluation. So when I'm looking <coughs> at a problem, what we first thing to remember is we remember our, <coughs> excuse me, what evaluation even is. Um, remember, if I have a function, let's just do a simple function, x plus 3. And a lot of times what we say, might say is evaluate for f of 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in whatever my function, this is like my input, this is what I'm going to plug in, this is my value that I'm going to find. I plug that value in for my um, independent variable, which would be x, it would be 2 plus 3. So therefore, f of 2 equals 5. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so whatever is inside here, that's what I plug into in my function. So here, it's telling me to plug in f of x. So I do g of g of f of x. Actually, I got one. g of f of x is going to equal f of x squared minus 1 over 3. So I plugged in my f of x in for x. Make sense? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what does f of x equal? Well, fortunately for this problem, <clears throat> excuse me, they gave us square root of x plus 4 we can plug in. So I can write g of f of x equals the square root of x plus 4 squared minus 1 over 3. Follow me? All right, so all I do is I plug in what f of x equals. Well, now I can simplify. Those cancel out, so I'm left with x plus 4 minus 1 over 3. 4 minus 1 is 3, so I can say g of f of x is equal to x plus 3 divided by 3. And that's my final answer. What if the thirds cancel out? If my 3s were like this, they would cancel out. But since I have addition, that 3, it, you can't... Um, you can't break that 3 into the x and 3 into the over 3. You can't do that with when you have addition. It doesn't, okay. it doesn't work the same as like multiplication. All right, now to find g of 5, there's two different ways you can do this. The first way, which I think is the easiest way, is what does g of 5 mean? That means you're going to plug 5 and 4 x into the g function, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do this two different ways. And hopefully let everybody... So if I was going to find g of 5, that just means plug 5 in for, let's even farther away, that just means plug 5 in for x. Five squared is 25, 25 minus 1 is 24, 24 divided by 3 is Right? Does that make sense? Well, then what it's saying is to plug whatever that is. So if I was going to find f of, so it says to find f of g of 5. So therefore, it's going to look something like this. So you have um, f of g of 5 means you're going to plug in square root of g of 5 plus 4. Right? Well, what's g of 5 equal? g of 5, we said, equal 8, right? So you can just plug it in. Square root of 8 plus 4, which equals the square root of 12, which equals 2 radical 3. Right? You see what I did? Mm -hmm. The other way you can do it is you could first do evaluation. So I could first do, um, I could plug in what my g function is. So I could say, um, square root of x squared minus 1 over 3 plus 4. So I plug in my g of x function for x, and then it says to evaluate for 5. So then I can do 5 squared minus 1 over 3 plus 4, and that obviously equals 8 plus 4, and again, equals square root of 12, which is 2 radical 3. Where are these? Nowhere? 
Got it? Okay. So you can do that? Awesome.